We come from the heart of America, motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) Funniest Sam Cedar line ever. That shit. (laughs) Mike Pence comes from like the thigh, the lower thigh, the lower inner thigh of America, below the knee, motherfucker. (laughs) For the enlarged prostate of America, motherfucker. Never be introduced by a oh, failed vice presidential. You should candidate. do more, motherfucker. Bill endorsed Trump. <laughs> there we go. He said a little Look accent. <laughs> wow. I got it. Thank you. Thank you, God. Let's clip that. Wait, don't take that. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, don't take his beer away. Don't take the beer away. Just because I smelled it. <laughs> He needs his beer. Right, okay. That's going to be good for you, too. Folks, if, uh, if the show cuts out, it's because I poured beer on our computer, our broadcast computer. So don't worry about it. He did a great job. <laughs> Look at that. Look That's the that anticipation smile. for Pence. Cruz, 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 Cruz. Mr. Chairman. It would be so fun to be there and chant that. Friends and my fellow Americans. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I am deeply humbled by your confidence. And on behalf of my family. You know what's really sick is that all these people remind me of how much I like Trump I more than all of them. I'm not even kidding. Vice President of the United States. There's Prince's so boy. What do now? That was supposed to be the last line. That's it. You close with that. Let's wrap it up. Wrap it up. People seem excited. Maybe the big applause sign behind You know, it. Callista was scheduled to be with Newt, but they, she didn't come out. Newt actually just served her divorce papers before, before uh, right. the, his speech because she has Lyme disease. The introduction I prefer is just a little bit shorter. Mm. I'm a Christian, a conservative, <laughs> He's and funny. A Republican. Oh, that wasn't a joke? <laughs> Christian, conservative, and Republican in that order. You know, I'm new to this I bet Sam Harris is tweeting honestly, furiously I, about how problematic this I is. Never thought I'd be thought here. By the way, that's my brand proposition. <laughs> I thought I'd be standing here <laughs> this evening with all of my friends. <laughs> that's what I say. Cliff, Christian, conservative, Cliff? and Republican, but in that order. Cliff, that is the funniest joke you've ever made. <laughs> Mine is choosy, choosy mothers ago, choose Jeff. With the man who won 37 <laughs> 16 talented opponents and outlasted every one of them, and along the way brought millions of new voters into the Republican Party. No matter that it was with fascism. It's all good. You know, he's, a, he's a man known for a large personality, a, a colorful <laughs> style, and lots of charisma. And so. so uh, Hitler. Hitler. Mike, Hitler. just look Hitler at my Hitler penis. Too. Don't touch it. Just look at it. Get on your knees and give it a kiss. <laughs> give it a kiss, Mike. Kiss my penis. Do it, I Mike. Do it if you want to be vice president. Chris would have done it, but he couldn't get down there. It's true. Whoa. I grew up on the front row of the American dream. My grandfather immigrated to this country. From oh, where? I was God. raised in a small Shut town. Shut up. I bet it was illegal. Indiana, <laughs> in a big family with a Communist. cornfield in the backyard. Where did he come from? Although Everybody we hated your grandfather. Family, <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say this. Mike Pence just taught me what conser- conservative means. <laughs> when he I was young, gray hair. I watched my mom and dad build everything that matters. A family, a yeah. business, and a good name. I was raised to believe in hard work, in faith, and family. My dad Bad child labor was. was a combat veteran in Korea. <laughs> Who was? Asbestos oh my God. Who was a combat veteran in Korea? His dad, dad. that was only a tie. Was a small town, and oh. he was a great father. A loser. If dad were with us today, I'd have a feeling he'd enjoy this moment. And no, he would not. In fact, oh I'm God. convinced that Dad would be using Photoshop and making funny pictures behind me. 
My mother is here. I watched the match. I watched the match. If I help, <laughs> she's been crying all night. I think. <laughs> Who's that lady? The mother is actually there. Would you she's join dead inside. Mom. She looks kind of Jewy, actually. It's weird. <laughs> she looks like oh, she's been crying up, for four bastard. hours. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, Mrs. Pence, look at my penis too. Mike, if you want to be vice president, mom have like your Mitchell mom Connell? kiss my genitals. I'm not going to shut up because it's. <laughs> I can't I believe. You know, you can look at her face and you can see what she's thinking. I can't believe this fucking idiot is actually a vice presidential <laughs> yeah. nominee. Holy shit. I, produce, my, I spent thing. years thinking this guy is so stupid. And now look at him. My son's I feel a dumb myself. He's now. about to be vice president. A pile of lipids. <laughs> I always he's thought he was an he's idiot. Smiling ironically. The best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> Even counting tonight. They're nothing. <laughs> oh, it's his wife, ago, isn't it? I married the girl of my dreams, a school teacher. Oh, don't tell us about you. And then I cut her pay. Me, would you welcome my <laughs> wonderful wife? Karen <laughs> I eliminated her tenure. <laughs> Slashed she her benefits a... and made her work the day after she gave birth. We loved each other. Nice wife, man. She teaches to the test. She's proud of teaching. <laughs> One to the month test. ago, I thought I was just a governor who would never get reelected, and now look at me. She's super embarrassed right now about her weight. She does feel I know it. About her weight? Yeah. I think she probably also feels bad about marrying that guy. But I think t- that she has a very well chosen dress on. Karen Ask us for daughter. I'm going to stay away from the mic so I don't Naval make a joke. That is inappropriate. That's a fan- fucking great idea. <laughs> is he talking about his kids right Just now? Just tell it in my head. I think so. To myself. I love the against women funny. in the military, right? Like all the military, not just combat positions, but his daughter is a lieutenant. <laughs> Interesting. See, they stay out of trouble Only when they just applaud and happen. cheer. That white people could succeed. Now, if you know Wake up, up, white people. You know we love to suit up and compete. Oh, we God. To win. That's why I, I hate Gene campaign Hackman campaign now. <laughs> you have nominated a man for That's president. right, and the old drunk in that movie, too. I hate that guy. Down. A fighter, <laughs> a winner. Until now, he's had to do it all by himself against all odds. But this week, with this united party, He's got back up and on November 8th. And by United, I mean oh. a party that would oh, boo man. the I second mean, place winner. Somewhat fractious in a mostly empty arena. Uh, quite a just a question for the similar. hive mind. Where can one, if one wanted to for the first time try math, where would one pick that up? Where would that happen? <laughs> that guy, I saw someone. If I were looking to get the clap. Cliff? Cliff? Kelly is so concerned. Kelly's like, wait, wait, don't do that! (laughs) Come on, I want to hear Mike Pence, guys, because you quiet down. This is an important moment in American history. Shut up, Kelly. I think I need that on my 360. Yeah, why isn't that on your 360? Wait, wait, wait. You know what I want? You know what I want, Matt? Do, do, do. Right. Our lives better for us than we can plan them for ourselves. You didn't include the right? Uh, we're going to have to hold a crowd-sourced uh, fundraiser just to get a 25-track mixer so that we can all have three <laughs> six <laughs> soundboards. Actually, it was sort of sad and, and pathetic at the same time. It was pathetic. <laughs> What are you giving a preview of what Trump's going to say to him after it's over? <laughs> no matter what you do, don't vote for my lock her up. We got a lock her up sign right there. We need to go back to emotional from being bored. And the role is perfect for her. <laughs> she championed Obamacare because years earlier she had oh, all but invented it. Oh. The national debt has nearly doubled in these eight years, and her only answer is to keep borrowing and spending. I can't believe this guy did talk radio. I can't believe I missed someone saying the difference between a hockey mom 
and lipstick and a pig or whatever it was she said. They tell us this economy is the best that we can do. Oh my God. Hey, he can see his, per it's he can see his personality can from do. his window. It's just the best that they can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> And we have Andy saying, oh, God, on the soundboard you, as well. It, it doesn't have to be like this. In my home state of Indiana, we prove every day that you can build a growing economy on balanced budgets. <clears throat> when did I do that <clears throat> interview <clears throat> with... <laughs> <laughs> when did I do that interview with the uh, lawyer from Indiana about how Mike Pence had cut funding for foster parents. Was that a Vegas interview? Yeah. I prefer kids that have their I real mean, parents. just contemplate this for a moment. <laughs> like, the idea that you would cut funding for foster parents. I feel like foster kids are losers. You know, I, feel just, like, I, prefer, I prefer kids that, whose parents love them, but that's just me. Wait. What are they saying? We love money? What? While the nation suffers under the weight of we want Trump. billion dollars in a national debt, we in Indiana have a $2 billion surplus, the highest credit rating in the nation, even though we've cut taxes every year since I became governor four years ago. It sounds great over there. Like Fewer state employees than when I took office. And businesses large you and small saying. have created nearly 150,000 new jobs, and there's more Hoosiers going to work than ever before. That's what you can do with common sense Republican leadership, and that's exactly. I don't even explain how nice Hoosiers were to sort of, of explain we'll and justify homophobia in his home state. We need to go back to recognizing <laughs> data and science. It's true. I mean, look, <laughs> it's really true. By the way, have you seen my daughters? They're all incredibly hot. You know, Donald Trump gets it. He's the genuine article. <laughs> He's a doer in a game usually reserved for talkers. And when Donald Trump does his talking, he, he doesn't tiptoe around the thousand new rules of political correctness. I might have to joking? tap out pretty soon here. It's like the AP style <laughs> guide. Jokes, right? And where else would an independent spirit like his find a following than in the land of the free and the home of the, the brave? brave. Germany, 1945. Mm. Maybe like Italy around Mussolini's time as an example. Or he got, he Iraq in the late the 70s. Uh, you know, the only USA! Difference is USA. The only difference between Gaddafi and Trump was Gaddafi actually voiced more concern for the poor. Oh. Well, Gaddafi's face looked a little more melted off. I thought I was going to say Gaddafi's yeah. face looked a little better. Power seems helpless to figure out our it's nominee. like melty. Shut up, Kelly. This is problem. the only thing I like about this guy as a choice for VP. He doesn't look terrifying. Them, yeah, he they does. He looks like a wago serial killer. No, he doesn't Who's look terrifying. I'm sure he's Did you find that? Who's headlining? Who's bringing it home? That, that show? Uh, he's tough. He perseveres. He's gone about as far as you can go in business, but he's never turned his back on the working men and women who make this country oh, grow. That <laughs> is almost not even remotely close to being true. And Donald Trump will never turn his back on those who serve and protect us at home and abroad. <laughs> unless, his, unless his check isn't clearing. Oh. <laughs> you know, Except the losers who get caught. It's those been losers time who get caught in war. In our law enforcement community. Yeah. He likes people that don't get caught. Great testing for them. Let's let them know, here and now, all across this country, we will always stand with those who stand on the thin blue line of law enforcement in America. Man, what oh, would this oh convention God. be if those cops had not been shot? <laughs> Honestly, like what the hell it. would they have talked about? Take out those cops or kids. Oh, we really, we've been lacking for content. I mean, it's true. 
Matt, you wow. find that? Now, you know, while Donald Trump was taking my measure as a possible running mate, I, I did some observing myself. Literally. Kiss my penis. Literally, he sold me a suit. Kiss my penis, I was in my underwear. Mike, Mike. He had his ruler. Mike, look at that. Mike, you think Ivanka's hotter than Melania? Let me be honest. His racist butler like them. Politicians on the stage, and I'll bet we see that again. Oh, my God. Yep. It's all happening. But I've seen this good man up close. <laughs> What's it's cool is it doesn't really matter intense. what the hell he says. The Cruz non endorsement is going to be the story tomorrow. And his yep. devotion to his family. Oh, that's true. They're going to have another day of bad breath. Can you believe who would have thought they don't look at any speech? They haven't looked at one thing before. It, they haven't done one thing where they were to check. You can't fake good kids. I mean, that's true. I mean, Look, a lot of other people's kids are in so great. Movies. I love this kid so much. Sam, the it episode really you were looking for, kid. 1323 on April 22nd. Thanks. These are the true measures of our nominee, chosen by the voters as the right man for these times. This is the Where are the measures of him? I got I got to take a leak. Who turned a oh, leak. Oh, so. into a movement. Okay, okay. Who's Sam. taking a leak? Sam, Sam TMI. Come on. Trump is. I'm going to take a poop. You guys, you guys. And, uh, Andy, uh, stop it. Go, I'm go. Get out. Get off of the mic. Stop I'm it. Before you, 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 you do something and go to bed. I'm going to see. Uh, did you how guys comes know? Out, I'll take a did you guys know? That, stop, Jesus. Whoa, that was dark. Did you guys know that Sam? Show, huh, did you guys know that Sam LBJ's it in this office? It's very is disturbing. Isn't one of those shows where we all hang up on each other without saying anything? Bye, guys. We're pretty close to there, aren't we? Do you guys even hear me? Hey, Cliff, is it just me and you now? Or who else? I mean, I don't think they hear me. They don't hear me at all. Can Is there a way for them to hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Andy, can you hear me? It's Michael. I can hear you. Cliff, can you hear me? Why, yes, Michael. I've been talking this whole time. You guys haven't hear, heard me. No. No, no, I've been hearing you. you. It's an incredibly dyslexic here. Employment contract there. Uh, I mean, look, frankly, it's, it's pathetic. No, I was just saying that Sam actually does an LBJ thing in this office. It's very disturbing. You know, the choice couldn't be more Yeah, clear. I bet. Yeah, he has the bathroom Americans open right now. The door is open. He's, like he's yelling, yelling at us in Yiddish. It it's Washington, disturbing. DC, or we can choose a leader. It's upsetting. I think you're right, Cliff, that the only thing that will really America be talked about is Cruz not endorsing. Really, I mean, if you think about the story tomorrow, it's not going to be Pence's speech. Gonna be that. Would the, Still mention Pence's would the speech, story have been Pence's speech regardless? Especially with all the booing and everything. Huge. I'm sure Trump will tweet something out about it because he's got he's got to be so. Pissed. Can I ask you guys a question? Do you think Eric Trump has killed more hookers or Donald Trump Jr. maids? Has, has, which one's killed more hookers? So Eric Trump kills hookers. Donald Trump Jr. kills maids. Who do you think has killed more, and or maids uh, or hookers? Excuse Are we counting me. accidents or just excuse, like purposeful? Excuse murder? me, I gotta, I gotta break in here. <laughs> I, I want to apologize to people. I, <laughs> for, for I just, talking I, from the bathroom. I attempted to um, take a poop and make it look oh, like Mike Pence, oh and I apologize. It, 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 I, it just seems impossible to. We to take a poop and have it come out to look tomorrow. like anything other than Ted Cruz. Like no so I apologize. I, Just remember, Ted, Sam, goes on the internet Jews, never goes away. Ted, you will always I'm look sorry. like a bowel movement, but you can be president. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I, I think Eric Trump actually had time to kill at least two hookers tonight during this convention. A military that's been diminished. And promise after ringing promise there really door, is a, 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 a just a stunning difference along. in reality and what they're and expressing. I mean, in terms of like what's going anyway. on in this country, I, it's pretty impressive, I think. Under Donald Trump, our deals it is. Will be smart. How many of them have talked about crime like it's like the highest level ever? As opposed to where it is. It's are. amazing. We and they all believe it. Our borders, protect our nation in all this. We will be more serious. And when we do, this you say 422? No, 420. No, I was talking to... Get it uh, right. 
Say it again. April 22nd. What happened on April 22nd? Is that the last time Sam tried to take a poop in the office? <laughs> oh, no, it's been much more recent. Could you stop? Yeah, yeah, Sam does it all the time. It's disgusting. But can we stop opening the gates to this type of humor, please? It's frankly revolting. <laughs> Uh, can we get back to the frigging Trump children killing hooker jokes? Something exactly. a little bit more dignity. <laughs> yeah, stop it. God's sake. This is the only thing where I can't, I can't yes and you guys on either the hooker jokes or the bathroom humor. There's no yes ending. Hey, Andy, did you know you got name dropped on Comedy Bang Bang this week? Dude. Uh, who did? Uh, somebody mentioned they were talking about comedians who. Uh, uh, measure their at, or applause breaks, and someone mentioned your name. I think you measure your applause breaks on this show, Andy. <laughs> well, I have a constant running commentary about how poorly I'm doing. And, and you, you to, guys missed Sam and I earlier were doing right wing MLK Jr. when Eric Trump quoted MLK. That was awesome. <laughs> By the way, hasn't Donald done an incredible job here tonight? I mean, it's true. It's really true. Stronger and more prosperous America. <laughs> Stop raping people. Take a shower. Get a job. It's true. Cliff was Mike Pence always an extraordinarily boring guy. He, I, I really yeah. can't even believe it. There's a lot of Americans out there. I mean, ever since I've seen him, and he, he was a talk radio host before he ran for office. That's so actually the most he, surprising he, thing about him. How could he carry any type of show? I don't know. That's the thing. You know what? I mean, ever since I mean, I've seen him, he's been boring as hell. First of all, the bar for right-wing talk show hosts is pretty low. Second of all, he obviously didn't succeed at it. That's why he ran for Congress. And third of all, we come from the heartland of America, motherfucker. That's right, bitch. <laughs> that was well said. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he's not, look, he's no Dennis Prager. He's no Larry Elder. I mean, come on. <laughs> no, Andy, how do you no know who Mike, these people are? Mike. Who's that guy, Mike? Mike Gallagher. He's no Mike Gallagher. He's no Mike Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> He's no, uh, what's that guy, Steve Malzberg. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't mess with Michael Malzberg. Malzberg. My, Steve, Malzberg. Steve Malzberg is a very nice boy. <laughs> and he calls his mother. And he's very concerned about the Mexicans. He's no John Phillips. You're just looking at a list now, aren't you, Andy? No, no. These are all mediocre guys. talkers on the right. Larry Elder. The best guy is Larry Michael Elder Savage, right? That's right. My, yeah, Savage. Holy. Oh, Michael Savage. What's the Janine joke about Michael Savage, Sam? Uh, he saw Allen Ginsberg naked too ma- one too many times. <laughs> is that what sent him over to the to the right, or is that yeah, David exactly? <laughs> Oh, was wasn't that David he, he Harwood's was story at one point, right? He was a hippie. He was... Yeah. I read an article about him once. He was actually ethno... Uh, he, he did sort of like... He studied herbs, essentially. Well, so was the David Horowitz, man. He was a lefty nut, too. Oh, David, yeah, David, David Horowitz, yeah. I saw David Horowitz and, at Bates. He came to speak, and he was like a bizarre combination of like Woody Allen and a Bond villain. He's one of the most bizarre people I've ever encountered in my life. Was he, was he already a righty when he came into people spoke? who were the, the kookiest members of the left who went to the right, they were always like a member of the left that you that never made sense to begin with. David Horowitz right, he was like, knew it. he was like, whatever, wherever I am politically, it's always going to be the awful version of it. Whether I'm a Stalinist <laughs> or a neo-fascist, I just need it That's to right. be disgusting. That was like he, he his hates, whole thing. He's basically just a... Misanthrope who hates everybody no matter what side. No, of the I mean he was a, he was like a palpably troubled person. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, yeah. He's a long rest on the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of talk and preferably. He spent some a little too much time listening to Saul Alinsky, <laughs> right, guys? He <laughs> was a lot. You guys, he was a David Horowitz was deceived by Lucifer. For the sake of the And you know, Bill Alinsky. Ayers lived in Obama's living room. For years. <laughs> hey, Mike. Hey, uh, Saul. You want to crash? 
Well, I'll walk more. <laughs> Hold on. Let's listen to some of this. He could be our vice president. Oh, don't say that. He could be. That doesn't mean we need to really listen to him. Wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying. Kelly is adamant about something, but I'm not sure what it is. We can just is listen. We can go back and listen later if we have to, because affairs. he becomes yeah, the vice president. That's right. We, no, we don't. Uh, like, just, we can I'm force just curious. Yourself to watch some crap. Yeah. I do. I do. Oh, you don't want me to talk over it? Indulge Sam's political nerdery. No, and let's I have listen. to say, I am curious about how he sounds with such a close-cropped uh, collar, because I've rank. gone to the wide collar, and I... And it was Hillary Clinton. Who left Americans in harm's way in Benghazi and after of four course. Americans Of course, okay, Benghazi, said, yes. Oh, uh, that's right. It, it was worse than 9-11. I remember being, during Benghazi, it was one of the highlights of my presidency. And uh, Hillary and I were having hot cocoa together. I remember watching those white swine pig uh, honestly, motherfuckers like, get killed. It was beautiful. People should just remember well, I'll that, part. that there was almost, I mean, just for the sake of a convenience... 800 times more people died on 9-11, 2001, Jew. than 9-11, 2012. Jew. That's true. Not those Jew. 400 Israelis that left the building. True. 400 should, Israelis that got a call ahead of time. You guys leave the, 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 the towers because something very bad is going to happen. <laughs> Believe me. I mean, it's true. It's really true. You know what would be awesome? to find out that uh, little kids can use the word Benghazi to open up secret passageways in their homes. Seven and a half years. Benghazi! And all of a sudden, a whole new... You blew my mind there, man. Grim and heartbreaking scenes from France just a few short days ago. And the attempted coup in Turkey all attest... I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's Kelly's going on. we got to figure it out. Michael. History teaches us that weakness arouses evil. Look. <laughs> oh, great. Now we got to have some type of, like, harassment tribunal at the office. Did he just say about something about Russia? Now I'm going to have to hire a, an to HR person history. here at the office. You should have done that a long time ago to covering you. Me? Yes. To our enemies and uh, oh, our this is Michael. <laughs> this is juicy. <laughs> the LBJ <clears throat> thing alone. Frankly. Michael's upset. I haven't bought him the proper. I've forced him to drink domestic to be beer. It was really upsetting. I also wanted Pellegrino Limonada. I love those. <laughs> I love those. Do you like the melon? The, the 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 pomegranate. I like the blood orange Come on. one. Andy. Oh, wow! Well, the show is falling apart quickly, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, the show falling apart in about home an hour and a half. Are you about us or the convention club? <laughs> Both, neither. Israel. Oh, oh, oh thank mentioned. God. I was worried about the guy who looked like young lions. The uh, <clears throat> Perhaps the most Aryan-looking guy in the country to reassure me about Israel. <laughs> <laughs> the Nazis would be concerned about Mike you know, Pence's lack of ability for independent morning, thought. The presidency of Barack Obama ends exactly six months from today. So his think, tie has, his, his wait, tie has more personality months? than him. Jesus. Right? Obama's <laughs> going to be gone in six months? That's unbelievable. Yeah, if it's to, uh, January 20th. Wow. I'm at a point now where, regardless of policy, I will miss tremendously. Hey, 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 hey. I love... Obama, <laughs> don't even start with you me. You want to do a little Obama with me, Cliff. Do not start with me. And this much is certain. This much is certain of the Obama years. They're not ending well. 
There seems to be so many things to divide us. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. That well. I don't that's have good. time to come up United with a, a better <laughs> way of phrasing that. You know what I will just say, though? There's, there's, there's just with no chaser there. You know Can't we say? just say the Obama years are not ending thingamajiggy? You know what I will say? Clearly the first speech tonight uh, or in any of the convention that has not been plagiarized. Anything that's <laughs> I will give well, him that. We usually don't find that out to, for another he sounds hour. Like, to, yeah. I, he, this doesn't he got, sound he like the world's plagiarized. most boring Burt Reynolds. It's not going to end well. As we have always been. It's not going to end well. Mm. Not ending well. Give him the luck. Lonnie Anderson <laughs> gets house. With liberty and justice. Oh my God. They just oh made. Oh my God. The Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Everybody was able to sing along with it. Oh, beautiful, for spacious guy. Can someone Google and make sure that the alcohol has not run out in this country? To pray daily for a wise and discerning heart for who is able to govern this great people of yours. I hate you. Who is he talking with? I hate you like poison. My fellow Americans. I hate, I hate tight lips now. I with destiny. And I have faith. Faith in the boundless capacity of the American people and faith that oh, God, God can still heal our land. Hey, Job. Hey, Job called. He said it was all a terrible mistake. God came to me in the middle of the night and said, Yo. 37% approval rating is not a dead is ender. Another time Maybe Trump will pick you as your VP. If you want a president who will protect this Mike, nation, Mike, really go. want to run for president, just resign as governor. If you want a president, hey, all the late night comedians are saying, all I, I had to do was in. jack off on the skull of a cow. If you want a president, it's going to be a field day for a late night comedian if Mike Pence gets in. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I think it's got to come out that Mike Pence is involved in building some type of brand. strange... <laughs> Some strange <laughs> voodoo the shit. Core brand proposition over yeah. there, Sammy. <laughs> Some strange voodoo shit from Mike Pence. To put Mike Pence in a voodoo ceremony is a movie in and of itself. I, I'm quite convinced that Mike Pence is involved in some weird voodoo fraternity type like thing, like like Scalia's hunting. Yeah, exactly. In fact, let's watch, uh, let's, I'm going to go home and watch Alex Jones, because I'm convinced he's on top of this. The chat is clear, so Mike Pence is part of the Illuminati. Look at me squint. Look at, look at, look at my eyes, see the media training. Squinting, literally the third thing they train you. In media training. So we were too drunk or on Ambien, if you were on the phones, to actually watch this. But how do we think this is going to be rated? Trump is in the... Look at him! <laughs> He's hiding in the wings! Look at... I'm Get literally out pulling Get your out there. sphincter muscle. Hey, Mike. That was oh, a great there. job. Why don't you Hi, get down Mike. and kiss my penis I'm holding now. your sphincter muscle right here hey, Mike. in my hand. Mike. I have your sphincter in my pocket. Hey, Mike. Why don't you kiss my penis Did they just now? kiss... Kiss me, kiss me. Hey Mike, kiss me. Isn't Ivanka the hottest girl you've ever sphincter. seen, Mike? Hold my sphincter. Hey Mike, hold my it, sphincter. Mike, just stroke it for a second. It's this okay. is my just, sphincter. Just give it a touch. Hold it. Give Thumbs it a touch. up. I'm pointing at you. Just touch. Sphincter. Okay. All right. Good Peace. night, everybody. Sphincter. Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast, like us on Facebook, and just generally enjoy us.